Haiti is one of the Americas' most unstable places. But this week, things got even more dramatic. All thanks to Jimmy Cherizier, a former police officer. Affectionately, even reverentially, he's referred to as Barbecue. This may sound funny, but don't let the name fool you. His actions are no laughing matter, because as we said, he is a former police officer. Today, Barbecue is Haiti's most powerful gang boss. This week, he took to the streets, calling for an armed uprising to overthrow the country's Prime Minister, Ariel Henry. Every ghetto will be on the streets every day, and we have nothing to hide from the whole world. They all know that we have weapons. Not only do we mobilize to fight Ariel Henry, we also mobilize the people. Our fight will also be with weapons against Ariel Henry. And for the Caribbean nation's government, this is probably icing on a bloody cake. Since with each passing day, the nation is spiraling deeper into turmoil. Gangs are seizing control of one part of Haiti's capital after another. Today, 90% of Port-au-Prince is under their control. Over the past few months, there has been an explosion of killings, kidnappings and sexual violence. Bodies are seen lying on the streets. Most of the neighborhoods are heavily barricaded. Gang checkpoints regularly block food supply. Now, millions are struggling to eat. And over 200,000 people are displaced. The Haitian government has not been successful in curbing the gangs, so a citizen-led vigilante movement has been born. It claims to protect the people, while vigilantes run amok with machetes in hand, quite literally. The crisis is only intensifying, so about a year ago, the country's fragile government issued a desperate plea. It urged foreign troops to step in and help. Guess who volunteered to help? An East African nation, Kenya. If Kenya does step in, it would be the first time an African nation leads a mission in one of the Americas' conflict-ridden places. Kenya has pledged to send a thousand security officers to Haiti. Their main goal would be to combat gang violence. Currently, the mission is pending the UN's formal approval. But things are in motion. It has received support from the US. This week, Kenya and the US signed a defense agreement. The United States stands ready to support that mission by providing robust financial and logistical assistance. And we intend to work with the United States Congress to provide up to $100 million in support. And we, work, we urge others in the international community to follow Kenya's great example and to step up and to provide more personnel, equipment, support, training and funding. In fact, Kenyan security officials have even started learning from So guys, welcome to the channel where a united Africa is an undisputed Africa. I have two my I have two two thoughts on this issue where Kenya wanna help um Haiti. This is what first let's talk about the um barbecue, which is the, the, the former officer that's right now um have is is running ninety percent of the country in in in, 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 um, in Haiti. What I don't like, and this is what when I say this this is this is, does not count as a revolution. This is more of a he's manipulating these ghetto youths to take power. Because why? If it was a revolution, if it was a revolution, and if it was a movement, these gangs and these ghetto youths would not be killing their own, raping, kidnapping, ransoming. These are not go this this is not these things does not have these things do not have any place in a revolution. This is more of a um as I said a gang um a, um officer, the former officer which is the leader currently, is taking advantage of these youth because the fact that they are hurting their own citizens says a lot. So, anyway, and my other thought, with Kenya assisting Haiti, it's a great move. But here's my, this is my big issue with this, and with President Ruto, because President Ruto should know better. Anytime America goes into any country, in this case, he's offered, they're offering 100, 100 billion to aid in this um, inter intervention. They don't have nothing good in mind to, to help Haiti in this sense. They don't have no reason to help Haiti. They don't have no 
they don't have no um no they don't honestly come to aid Haiti they have some alternative motive in this when they say, when they say Afri America comes in to help any country in this situation like Sudan the Congo look at what's going on in, in, in those countries for years and they said that and the NATO and the Americans are there to say that they are helping so what can they do in Haiti right now to change the trajectory of what's going on even though Kenya is going to come in to, to, to aid and Kenya is only sending a thousand troops that cannot do much in a country that's ravaged by um, war and um, factions fighting against factions so about another truck is passing you know what I mean? so you have warring factions where other gangs are fighting against other gangs to show that it's not a revolution because gangs are fighting against gangs they are killing their own they are raping kidnapping so they show you it's a it's more of a manipulation going on and it's going to continue because the government themselves that's put into that's in power right now in, in, in Haiti is also put there by the Americans because they, they help assassinate the last president and it came out that there was Americans in um, FBI agents who would take part in the CIA to take part in the assassination of the last president so the Americans don't have no good intentions for, for Haiti and I'm very disappointed that Kenya is accepting the aid and assistance of the Americans in this if you wanted to actually come and aid Haiti you would come with you would um, go to other African countries team up make a cohesive um, present a cohesive um, goal and then join up with other African countries to send troops there but once you link up with Americans nothing good is going to come of this and I think this is just a bad bad move by President Ruto and this is not going to help Haiti because they don't see the Americans as um, the instigators of this and they are also aiding in some of these gangs because there is a documentary done where America is sending weapons to some some of the gangs in Haiti and, and others they are blocking them from getting um, weapons and ammunition so there's documentaries on it, you can go on it and you can find it to show you that they are not really here to help so anyway, let me know what to think about this give me your thoughts and then I want to think about what, what this means and what's going to happen in this let me know what you think about it peace, one love, boom